What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I've gone ahead and implemented a custom function within YOLO version four in order to crop and save the detections found within images and video. I'm gonna be walking you through how to run this custom function as well as a step-by-step -step through the code and explain it in detail. So as you can see, the detections on screen, I found a dog, a bicycle, and a truck. And what the custom function is gonna do is it's gonna save a new folder with all the images of the dog, the truck, and the bicycle. As you can see, just like this, there's a lot you can then do with these cropped and saved images. As always, if you find this video helpful, please smash the like button. And if you're new to the channel and you wanna stay up to date with a bunch of YOLO V4 content, please subscribe as well. Thanks, let's get into it. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've added the code for the custom cropping function into my YOLO v4 custom functions uh, repository that you might have seen in one of my previous videos where I go over how to count objects within object detections as well as print detailed information about all of your detections. So I've gone ahead and added the code in here. So if you actually scroll down and you go to my currently supported custom functions, you can see that now there's a check mark beside crop detections and save them as a new image. And you can see that my next video will be on how to apply Tesseract optical character recognition in order to actually read and extract text from your detections. So what you're gonna wanna do if you haven't already used my previous video, you're gonna wanna go ahead and clone the code. So you're just gonna click this little clipboard icon, open up your command prompt, and then just go get clone and paste it in here. I've already cloned it and I've already gone ahead and done all the installs and dependencies. So if you haven't done that, I recommend following along with this getting started section of the README. Or if you want a video showing how, then you can go and use my previous video uh, where I show this custom functions and how to actually download the model and get the installs set up. So I'll link that down in the description below and you should see it up as well on the screen. So go check that out if you want a step-by-step -step of how to get everything set up for this video and get this tutorial running. But we're gonna jump right into it. So if I go over here to crop detections and save them as new images, you're gonna see the command. And I've actually just added it as a simple flag. So you can just add dash dash crop flag to any of the commands within this repository in order to crop the detections and save them as their brand new own images. So you're gonna see there's the flag added on right there. And this is one of the resulting images. We're gonna go ahead and run this and it works on images as well as video. So we just go ahead and paste that command in. It's gonna run it on this dog.jpg, which has three detections within it. And you have this image already in the repository. So this command will work for you. And I'm running it on the YOLO v4 model. You can run it on YOLO v3 but it's just gonna go ahead and take a couple seconds to load in the model, and then we're gonna hop in and show, do a step-by-step -step through the actual code that I wrote. So when you see the output on screen, the standard output, you're just gonna go ahead and close it, and then you're gonna go into the file system. So if you go to the repository, wherever you downloaded it and cloned it, and then you go into the detections will be saved within the detections folder. So you go in there, and then it, there's gonna be this subfolder called crop, and this is where you're gonna have all your cropped images saved. So you're gonna go in here, and then whatever image the image name is, so we did it on dog.jpg, it's gonna save it into another subfolder with the image name, so this was dog. And if we go in here, we see that we indeed have the three detections that were found within the image using the classes that we did, the YOLO v4 pre-trained model. So it's gonna be a truck image. Let's go ahead and open that. It gets the truck, dog, and bicycle. And if there was many of them, it would call dog two, dog three. So there's a naming system in place in order to capture all of them. So you can see it's pretty, it's extremely accurate on cropping the image and it has a couple pixels of buffer around each edge. So it's very simple. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, an example on video. 
So let's just type in the command, Python, detect video.py. And I think I can just add the crop flag and it, if it, all the defaults will run. So let's just go ahead and try this. And I'm gonna show you guys that right now I have it set to take a screen capture or just crop the images every 150 frames. So it's gonna has a has a counter. It's gonna count through, and every multiple of 150 for at the frames, it's gonna uh, save that and crop the images that it finds at that moment in time in that snapshot. So that's how I've done it, and I'll show you in the code where to change that if you want it to be uh, more frequent or less frequent. So we're gonna let it run for a bit. You can see it's running on the video, getting the detections. And then we're just gonna hop in and show you the subfolders um, that it's saved for these, in, uh, these video. So we're gonna let it run for a couple more seconds here. That should be good. So now I'm just gonna hit Q and I'm gonna go back into the subfolder crop and you can now see that we have this video file. And if we go in here, we only made it to 150 frames, but if it had gone to 300 frames, we would have had another folder. And if we go in here, we can see all of our saved images. So this is a handbag, bicycle, the car in the image is saved, as well as handbag, a person. Let's go ahead and open this up. So you can see it goes ahead and actually crops successfully all of the detections within the video frame. So now if we hop into the code, I'm gonna show you where I've, I've written the function to do this cropping. So it's in this core folder, functions.py, exactly where in the previous video I, sh I put the count objects custom function is where I've stored this one. So if you scroll down, there's gonna be this cropped objects function, and this is what it does all of the cropping and saving of the images. So it takes in the image, the data, which is the bounding boxes and classes, the path to where you want to save it, and the allowed classes. So you can actually go into detect or detectvideo.py and actually customize the allowed classes that you actually want to crop or detect. So if you actually comment out this line and uncomment this line, only persons or the class person will be detected and then also cropped. So if there's only certain classes that you want to detect, use your object detection or crop, this is where you're going to want to go ahead and change that. But I'm just going to undo that for now and go back into functions. So it's a very simple function. All it does is goes through the detections, gets the class name. If it's in the allowed classes, it's going to add the count. And that's what it does to save the, the image uh, name as dog one, dog two, dog three, etc. And then it gets the bounding box coordinates right here on this line. And then it just uses this easy uh, built in OpenCV function to take a snapshot of a sub image. So it just goes cropped image and then goes and crops the image on the bounding box coordinates and adds five pixels on every side as a little extra buffer. So it's not as tight of a crop. But if you want to adjust that, you can add more buffer space or less by uh, changing that value from five to something else. And then this is just the image name. It kind of formats it nicely to save the image uh, like you saw, dog one, dog two, dog three, and then goes ahead and saves it. So it's really simple, simple function. And it's just implemented in detect.py. So if the flag crop is added, it's just going to go ahead, pass in this uh, path to where that's going to save it, make the directory for the crop file, and then it's going to go ahead and call the command right here on line 119. So it's a very simple, simple function that you can easily add on to if you want to do anything else with the cropped image. And then in the text video as well, if flags.crop, this is where you're going to change the crop rate. So every 150 frames right now is when it takes a snapshot in time and saves those cropped images that it finds at that moment. So if you want it to happen a lot and be very frequent cropping of images, you're gonna change this down to maybe 50. 
Um, but if you want it to be even a longer break in between, you can uh, just increase it as you see fit. So that's really pretty much it for this video. It's an extremely simple function to add on, but one that I know a lot of you people or a lot of you guys were asking for. So I hope you enjoyed this simple video and enjoy the tutorial overall. If you liked it, please smash the like button. And as always, if you want to stay up to date with object detection and computer vision videos, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It means a lot to me, and I'll see you in the next one.